other thing we need to know, guys, um, is the class width. Cool. How do we calculate the class width, guys? Basically, if we subtract this 11 from this 21, we'd get the class width. Let me just show you. 21 minus 11. That would give us 10. And that's the class width for the table. Cool. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Let me do another example. If I subtract 31 from 41, that will also give me the class width as well. So 41 minus 31, this gives me the class width, cool, which is 10. So basically, guys, to find the class width for any table that you get, you just need to subtract two consecutive numbers, the 11 from the 21 or the 20 from the 30, and that will give you the class width, cool? So this is a question that they usually ask. They usually ask you for the class width, cool? So I think these are just some general terms that we need to know related to the exam. And let me just rub this out now and go to one of the questions. So let's scroll down, guys. If we scroll down, this is asking for the lower class boundary. I soon explain that to you. But if you look here, it says, what is the class width for the class 21 to 30? So same thing, guys. How do we calculate the class width? It's kind of simple. We can calculate the class width by subtracting any class before it from the one in front of it, meaning the lower limit from the other lower limit. So to find the class width, guys, all we have to do is subtract. So let me use 11 minus 21, for example. I think that's a good one to use to find the class width. So to find the class width, guys, all I need to do is subtract one of these from the one in front of it. So 21 minus 11 would give me 10. Make sense? I hope it makes yeah. sense, guys. I think it's really simple. Um, and I think this is a easy mark to pick up on the exam. That's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest.